quiet yet very active villages in the Malnad region of Karnataka. Like in most of the villages, agriculture is the primary occupation of the people living here. Having their strong roots in the region are the people of Divaru community. Apart from their significant contribution in the field of agriculture, there are two very notable contributions in the field of art and culture. They are Dollu Kunita and Hase Chitra. <laughs> Chitra is a form of folk art mainly drawn on the mud poles of the houses. It is usually done during marriages, festivals and village fairs. This form of wall art or Hase was originally seen in Sagar, Saraba and Shikaripur Taluk of Shumoga district and certain parts of Uttar Kannada district of Karnataka. The artwork, mostly made by the women of the community, depicts the lifestyle, agrarian practices and their culture. As we draw Rangoli on the floor, Hase Chitra is also a form of decoration. The designs are made using naturally available colors like red earth for red color, rice flour for white, charcoal or burnt cashew kernels for black and turmeric and certain seed powders for yellow. Plant fibers are modified as brushes to paint the picture. Depending upon the colors used to draw, Hase Chitra can be grouped into three. Kempu Hase where red color is used to draw, Kappu Hase where black is used and Bili Hase where white is used to draw the design. In few places, each family identify themselves with a particular colored hase. So, whenever they draw hase, the family uses that particular color. Many straight lines, curves and geometrical figures make a meaningful hase chitra. Further, these lines and geometrical figures form many patterns like Kuchu Salu, Gombe Salu, Sita Mudi, Shivanajade, Gonabe, etc. Apart from these, many motifs are used such as flowers, plants, birds, animals, and human figures. There are few recognized designs of Hase Chitra drawn on different occasions. This is the Hase drawn during marriages. Hadinaru Mule Arati drawn during Gauri Puja. Teru or the chariot usually drawn on walls of the houses during village fairs. Chinnani Chitra, Tirugumane, Balindrana Chittara. There is a beautiful practice amongst the farmers of Malnad region. Throughout the year, they grow crops on their farmland and reap the yield. So, 
on the full moon day in the month of ashvayuja of hindu calendar farmers celebrate bhumi hunnime it is a way of showing gratitude to the mother earth it is the time when the crops bear the yield farmers worship the crops and the soil they take the food items and things to worship in artistically designed bamboo baskets called bhumi hunnime butti and charagada butti these baskets are first smeared with cow dung to clog the holes and also to avoid damage from pests in the long run after drying red earth is applied later hase chitra is drawn this basket usually consists of designs like rows of crops people working in fields agriculture implements and others depicting the agrarian practices of the community long before people learned to read and write they learned to express through arts even hase chitra has a long history women of the community passed on this knowledge through generations they drew these patterns very calculatively and symmetrically over the years the practice started to fade out with the efforts of few enthusiastic people of the region the art form have been revived it is brought down to the canvas from mud walls for any art form to survive through generations it has to reach many people now even hase chitra is reaching many people through decorative items fabrics and as wall murals in order to adapt to the situation and preserve the artworks for a long time paints are being used to draw hase keeping in mind the basic color combinations instead of cow dung a mixture of fenugreek and paper is applied on the baskets which also gives the same effect the four card hase chitra with its beautiful and intricate patterns is a pride of the state of karnataka Thank you.